Okay, fine, we continue. Ah, oh, my heart is getting better. Fuck! Fuck! He's still here! Still fucking here! Okay, let's give it a peek. No, I'm too scared. Too fucking scared. Couldn't he just go away? He's gone. Let's take it a baby steps at a time. Okay, I think he's gone. You can never be sure though. was in here What was it doing in here? There's nothing to do in here It's fucking boring And it's driving me mad Fuck, that is disturbing. Is there blood falling down the... F Fuck. You. What kind of ritual place is that? Fucking fu I hate this game. Oh, now I f officially hate this game. God damn. Ah. How's my heart doing? Well, my real heart is not doing so well. Oh. You're gonna give me the the remaining two rods that easily? I don't think so. I'm, I'm closing this door. Just in case. The case of a missing rod. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again, unless it is absolutely necessary. Always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. I got the third one. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Let. Fuck. Fuck my fuck. It's 
been a while since I've cursed so much. I don't curse. I'm one of those people who just don't curse, but this game makes me curse, I don't know what. Oh. I don't trust this game. Oh, moves. Oh, fuck. You're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. What am I going to do? beginning to sweat I never sweat while playing games it's, 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 it's oh the music maybe he's gone oh let's hope so Sorry Jesus, I drew you out of the window. Please help me in this situation. I will never do it again. Okay, okay. I think we're safe for now. Fuck. Sorry. But really, fuck. If I see him, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna... I'm, I can't do this. Okay. F find your courage. I'm gonna run. If he shows up, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna 
fuck run. I'm not scared of you, you little piece of ass. What? Okay, there's my escape. Oh, he was gone. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't here after all. Back call again. Oh. Ah, that was fucking intense. What the fuck? What? What the f the f dude? Come on! What? I still don't know what this is, but it's for sure freaking me out. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Well, I don't know even what to say. That's inappropriate. Come on, 69. Oh well. Only, only place I haven't checked is this one. Here. Seems nice. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Okay. <laughs> of course. It's not working. Oh well, yeah. Machine room. Just gonna keep my head cool. Gonna do this shit. There's nothing to be worrying about. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Yes, this is silly. Oh, 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 I remember this. What was it? Uh, eight down, eight up, I think. Let's give it three, four, eight, two. No, too many, too many. How 
much is it? Uh, six, eight, four, five, ten. Who's eating nuts? Stop this fucking cracking. I can't think. So three three six seven uh two four ten three uh Sorry, my father called me. Still have to figure that out. I'm gonna check. Wrong notes. Yes, up eight, down eight. So another try. Two, three, three, four, six, seven, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Why is this so difficult? It's not difficult at all, actually. Let's fix this elevator. Fix this elevator quickly, and let's get the fuck out of here. Guys, I'm going insane. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms, in case all three would crack again. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician. Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Yes, you do that. Well, I guess I just... There was something about these rods, too. 
Uh, elevator. Yeah, circle, square. right let's just quickly quickly do it the 17th of July 1839 how has this escaped me they're all dead limbs scattered heads split down the middle their skin flayed as if boiled I feel like I'm falling into myself what's happening Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. What the fuck did he bring from Africa? So what do we have to do in here? Oh, I have to find something... What's in here? Oh, well, well I know. I used to... I used to keep my house warm with... On, on these things, burning these things. I don't know what they are in English, but... Ah. Cold, yes. So what now? Finally, I got my lantern back. And back to wasting some more oil. I don't just give a shit, shit. Still. Ah, I need this key. Like this. I doubt it's going to work. I, I have to try. Oh yeah. I saw them earlier. One's in here. I remember one's in here. Come, come. Don't be afraid. it should work. No? What else? Needs more work. Okay, but... What do I need to do? Turn some kind of a valve? Maybe there's some more cogwheels. No, I don't think so. What work do you need? Maybe I didn't put the rods correctly. Of 
course I didn't. For base, Trinity, Cycle. There we go. The flicker, the village night. Now this better work. Yes. Oh fuck my ass. Oh. elevator and be done with it. And we shall see where we're going in the next video.